Welcome to another Art Fabula video. I hope everything is okay with you. Uh, today I'm just going to show you all the prototypes for all my toys and maybe inspire you to begin creating toys or begin to making just a prototype to send to the factory. So I hope you like this video. Here we go. I create all my toys in 2D and then I send to a 3D modeler. All these toys that you are going to see is done by Dante Rockford a Mexican uh, modeler and he made these sketches, these drawings that I sent to him into a 3D product. Um, this 3D product I sent it to the factory and then after maybe a few months I get the first version of the toy. Sometimes I print it myself and send it to the factory uh, but it's always the same process. It's always from a 2D sketch to a 3D model and then a 3D prototype of the model. Afterwards, I get the final product when everything is done. So here I have the very first model that I got from Dante for Egi. So as you've seen, Egi has some kind of scales uh, in the side of the toy. But the first version didn't have these scales. Here you can see that this model doesn't have any scales. So this is the real first model of Egi. I like that one, but I, I wanted to incorporate uh, scales in the side. So I did the scales inside after I sent it to the factory. So I made the scales in the factory. This one is uh, made at home here. This is just a, a resin version of the toy, a three inches resin version of the toy. So I often print the toy to see if everything is okay with the model before taking the next step. And this one is the first version, a little one in resin. Then I send the toy, if everything is okay, to the fabric and I get something different, right? Like this one that you see. This is the final version of Eggy. This one, I'm not sure if you can see, but this one has the scales on it. So this version is the final one and this is also the right size. So when I get this one, then I know how to paint it. I can, uh, if I paint it myself, I can see all the figure and all the details, the real details, uh, and then I can paint it by myself if I need it. So this is a final product from this one to this one. Another toy that I did afterwards, after Eggy, was Deco Buringo. The Coburingo is uh, one of the funniest toy I have. Uh, I love the Coburingo. I need to put more love to the Coburingo. Uh, maybe I will do a new version uh, or a vinyl version of it. But the Coburingo uh, was meant to be a three inch uh, resin toy from the beginning. Uh, well, not from the beginning because I was thinking that this should work as a sofubi but i didn't know too much about the productions of sofubi toys so the problem with this coburingo is that it's not should to be made in sofubi there are a lot of small parts that doesn't work and the, all these things doesn't work all these features and details doesn't work with the Sofubi productions. I will talk more about how to sing the form of the toy to send it to the production. So this one couldn't be made in Sofubi. Then I thought, well, I have a 3D print. I can make this and sell this one as a resin toy. So this one, I made it in resin and I painted different colors and made different variations. And I will, of course, continue making it. So the Coburingo, just a resin toy, maybe in the future something something more. Between the Coburingo and the Eggy, I was making another toy. I have a third one 
that really was a second one, but it took a lot of time and I have a lot of problems creating it. So that second one, third in production, was Captain Bebop. Captain Bebop has been transformed from the first version to this version that I had in the shop. And it is more or less a more softer version of the real one. So here I made, as with Eggy, a little, little version of Captain Bebop. This version I printed on my 3D printer. And if you see the globes uh, and maybe some of the features, the, the legs of the uh, Koburingo here in the head, in the hand, uh, they are very different from the latest version that I made in uh, Sofobi. This is because it didn't work in the molds. So this version was also made not wrongly, but made without thinking uh, about the Sofobi. And this is, this is one of the things that I would like to talk about in a future video, the errors, the, the, the things that we need to think about when creating a toy. So this one, the, 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 I think it's two inches tall, not sure how much. This was the first version that I uh, create, uh, 3D printed, and then I send it to the fabric. And then I got a very good version, first version, but a very uh, expensive one. Uh, then I hear about another company in Spain that he could help me uh, create an the real product and then i got after one year it took too much time then i got this one this is the latest and real version and here you have the unpaint, unpainted uh, prototype of the captain bip figure i really love this guy so much that uh, his head is the logotype of the company so this is the prototype of Captain Bebop. Then I made two other toys. In real, it was just one toy, and then uh, I became more or less in love with this one and uh, decided to make two. Same body, different arms, and different head. This one is uh, Mekasar and King Sar. So here you have the King Sar toy with arms and the head. They are movable, both the, the head and the arms. This one is King Sar, and this one that has the same body is Mecha Sar. Different head and different arms. They are essentially the same figure, but uh, they are very different and I paint them very, very differently because they get the feeling, the different feel of the toys. This more like a robot and this one more organic one. So those two are two of my best sellers right now. And then I made uh, the first Sofubi toy made in Japan. So I create another one in the same style as uh, Eggy and Captain Bebop. And that one is the one that I call Bonnie. Bonnie, this rabbit, it was a Sofubi from the very beginning. So I create this form, I send it to Dante Roquefort, and Dante Roquefort made a 3D version of it. Yeah, a very lovely one. As you see, it's like Eggy, but rabbit version. And one that has less features, but an easy, easy body, uh, but it's done thinking about making it in a real Sofubi. So, so it worked very well, but I was, I needed to separate the body and the legs uh, because I made this toy in two parts. This one, of course, I sent that one to, to the factory in Japan. Um, they printed and they made all the versions, all the Sofubi versions of production there in Japan. Then they sent me the final toy and then I paint the final toy as I please. And these two are two variations of the toy. 
uh, but I have multiple colors. This one, this is right now my favorite. I like those one, the colors, the all the, all the all the things I can do with the colors. I love it very very much. So there you have it. Uh, you have all the toys. You have Captain Bebop, Bonnie, King Sar, Mega Sar, Eggy, the Koburingo. So there you have it. Here are all the prototypes for the toys that I have made. This kind of sphere of toys will change dramatically next year because this is what I call the phase one. Some of these toys will disappear completely from Art Fabula history. Some of those will, you will never see them again in this form. Maybe sometimes in the future I will change some things. But thanks to all these prototypes, thanks to, for example, the Koburingu and uh, also Captain Bipop's uh, prototype and production and the features and details, I learned a lot of things about making toys, making art toys, vinyl toys and Sofubi toys. I have learned so much that the transformation of this first phase uh, is uh, reflecting on the phase two that will begin with the new toy in the beginning of the 2023. This is the way to go for Art Fabula in the future. But King Tsar and Mega Tsar, those two are also a toy line that will last. So thank you very much for watching this video this week. Next week you will have another Art Fabula video. Thank you and see you next week.